Hi, I'm William, a Cloud Support Engineer at the AWS office in Sydney. In this video, I'll show you how to benchmark network throughput between Amazon EC2 Linux instances in the same VPC using the iPerf3 tool. During this exercise, you will need two EC2 instances of the same type. Let me walk you through the process. Please note that the network throughput of an EC2 instance is determined by a combination of different factors such as their physical proximity, the maximum transmission unit or MTU configured, and the instance type. The use of enhanced networking and placement groups also affect the throughput of EC2 instances. For this reason, we advise our customers to benchmark the throughput of their environments to establish a baseline. As you can see, I have two terminal screens open. To benchmark the TCP throughput, I am using two EC2 instances type M5X large with MTU 1500, enhanced networking and no placement groups. I am running Amazon Linux 2 on these instances and I will call them A and B. First, open an SSH connection to each instance. As you can see, I have already done that. Next. Install the iperf3 package on each instance. I'm gonna use the yum command to install the iperf3 package. As you can see, you need to accept this and the package is already installed. Let's repeat it on the other instance. Confirm and the package is installed. On instance A, run the iperf3 command in server mode. I am using the port 8001 for this test and I have configured my security groups and network ACLs to allow traffic on this port. The dash S option will put the iperf3 in server mode and the dash P option will set the desired port. On instance B, run the iperf3 command in client mode. This command will start the iperf3 in client mode against the instance A and measure the TCP throughput. Make sure that you are not using any flags to limit the bandwidth. As you can see, the iperf3 is already measuring the throughput and it will soon give us the results. When the command is complete, check the results in the sum lines. You can check the amount of data transferred by checking the transfer column and the total bandwidth used in the bandwidth column and then use these values to establish the baseline for the environment. Keep in mind that the iperf3 version available in Amazon Linux 2 is single-threaded and it's bound to a single CPU. Because of that limitation, you might need to run multiple servers and clients to simulate parallel streams. A similar test can be done for UDP packets. In this case, iperf3 uses a default bandwidth of 1 megabits per second so we need to specify any other value desired. Let's see how it works. To benchmark the UDP throughput, I'll use the same instances from the previous exercise. As you can see, I am already logged in on these instances. On the first instance, run the iperf3 command in server mode. On the second instance, run the iperf3 command in client mode. This time, we use the dash "-u", flag for UDP and dash "-b", flag to specify the bandwidth. As you can see, I'm using the dash "-b", flag to specify a bandwidth of 10 gigabits per second and a dash "-u", flag to specify the UDP traffic. Let's see how it works. When the command is complete, check the results. The most important information here is the column loss total datagrams. If the number of packet loss is high, then this means that the throughput limit has been exceeded and you need to adjust the bandwidth value to a lower value. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.